In this screencast, we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of functions and determine whether or not they are eigenfunctions of the operator d dx, or the derivative with respect to x. So let's take a, a look at two different examples, first being the function e raised to the ax, and then we'll take a look at e raised to the ax squared, where a is just going to be a constant in both cases. As a reminder, an eigenvalue equation takes on the general form an operator acting on a function is going to be equal to a constant factor times that same initial function. Often you'll see the operator denoted as an uppercase omega and the constant factor as a lowercase omega. So let's take a look at our first example, which is the function psi equals e raised to the ax. The derivative of psi with respect to x would be a times e raised to the ax which is equal to a times our original function psi. Since our operator acting on the function produces a constant times that original function, e raised to the ax is in fact an eigenfunction of the operator d dx, and it has a corresponding eigenvalue of a. So let's take a look now at our second example, e raised to the ax squared. At this point, you might want to pause the video and try determining the result yourself before we discuss it together. All right, for this second function, if we take the derivative of psi with respect to x, we find that it's equal to 2ax times e raised to the ax squared. In this case, 2ax, which is what precedes our function, is not a constant value because it depends on x. So this function does not satisfy our definition of an eigenfunction for our specified operator.